Hi, Lance Pillock from Online Hockey Training, and today I'm going to show you how to tape the knob of a hockey stick. So let's get started. So why do I even have to tape the top of my stick? It comes down to grip. When you're shooting or if you lose your stick on the ice, it's easier to pick up. The composite material that's used today is very slippery, so it just gives you a little better grip so you're not going to lose your stick and you're going to be able to do the things you want to do in regards to shooting, passing, and receiving passes. Now, I got three different versions here. This is a ribbed one where they start, come all the way down, and this is way down too far. This middle version, we have a, a thicker top and then it's ribbed below. And then this third option is just uh, someone just put tape all the way around it. Uh, the rule of thumb is you, how wide do you do it or how far you come down. It doesn't have to be much further down than what your hand covers because your top hand really doesn't come down the, the shaft of your stick at all. It stays at the top. So anything in addition right here past my hand is added weight that's not needed. So why do it? The biggest advice I can give you has to do with hand strength. We're strongest when you think about a fist. When it's a fist, my hand's strong. The wider it gets, the weaker I get. So if I have a big knob and my hand's opened up, I'm not going to have the grip strength that I would if it was closed more. So you want to try to keep it as thin as possible. That will optimize your strength and your performance. Now let's talk about taping. This is the easiest way and I highly recommend you do this. What you're going to do is get a roll of tape and you're going to string out about a foot and a half, two feet, just like this. You're going to pinch the top. Let me show you here. See how I pinch the top like that? And then I'm going to start spinning. So what will happen, it's going to make a rope and because I pinched it at the top, the sticky part's going to be outside. So I spin it around. Get that done, nice and tight, and then I'm going to rip it. Now that you got your tape rope done, now you're next going to focus on the plug. Every stick has a plug in it, and you need to have this in. If you don't, make sure you put a couple strips of tape over that to cover the opening. You probably saw that picture that was on the internet where that player took the butt end of a stick that didn't have a plug in. It went right through his side and created a big hole. It was gross looking. So let's not have that happen again. So if I have my plug in, I'm just going to take one strip of tape and I'm going to cover that plug to lock it down. Next you're going to grab your rope, your tape rope here. You're going to start at the very top and wrap it around as close to the top as you can and overlap it a little bit. That locks it down. And then I typically do three to four wraps, and then I'll start candy caning it the rest of the way. Next, you're going to grab your roll of tape. Again, you're going to start at the top, overlap it a little bit like this, and proceed to just wrap it all the way down until you have all of the tape rope covered, and then rip like so. This part here, you can see how it's sticking up, all you do is just kind of pinch it down all the way around and I am ready to rock and roll. I don't have any extra weight by bringing it further down. It's nice and thin. I have some good grip. So that's how you tape the knob of a hockey stick. Again, you're going to develop your own style, your own personal preference. Experiment, but remember, we want it thin because we want to have good grip strength, not too big and we don't want to have it too long down the shaft of the stick. It's just added weight that's not needed. I hope you found this video useful. If you know someone that might find it interesting, please share it with them. Give me the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.